It's time for your viewer comments. Gavin Zverdlov says, If you are desperate to own a watch, just go to a gray market dealer like I did. I purchased a new unworn Rolex precious metal watch and I heart it prayer Santa emoji face. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we can learn a few things from Gavin here. If you really want a watch and you have the money to buy it, and you have the opportunity to do so, just go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why we buy things, not just watches, but anything for that matter. But regardless of that fact, we actually tend to consider a lot more things because we're humans and we humans are emotional creatures inherently. We tend to consider what our wives would say or what our sons would uh, react to when we purchase these watches. Oh, you purchase a watch that's more than the retail. Oh, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Or maybe that um, friend of ours on Instagram that would ready to say, oh, nice pickup, Jay. But then behind the phone screen, they're laughing at you because they got the same watch for almost half the price in their local AD. Uh, these are the things that we think about before we even pull the trigger, before we even swipe that credit card. And that's there, there's nothing wrong with that. That's really just us being conscient beings, conscientious about uh, our decisions. That's actually what makes us special. However, if you're able to actually move past that and make a sound decision on your own without the baggage or without the shackles of these considerations then you truly are a little bit more mature and you have a more solid focus on your purchasing ability on your purchasing manners and actually that is a skill that we all need to develop so in hindsight just to you know um, get rid of that anxious feeling just buy the watch that's what Gavin here is saying now, I don't fully agree with that myself because we really need to uh, put into mind why we are buying these watches. We really need to make a sound decision, not some brash or quick um, decision because simply we can afford it. That is um, uh, something that I truly believe. And that brings us to the other point. We have to remember, this is the second lesson that we can learn from Gavin's um, remark here. We have to define what desperate is. Well, it's defined as having a great need or desire for something. If you're desperate for a watch, you have a much, much bigger problem at hand than the purchase itself. Because honestly, a watch is an object that will rot, scratch, break, dent, get stolen, can be melted, can be burned, can lose value or can just sit there accumulating dust. It's just an object. It's not a source of lasting happiness and satisfaction. Remember that movie, The Terminal? Where Tom Hanks plays this man who's stuck in the airport and he went through all of these um, ordeals and hardships just to get this, spoiler alert, uh, signature for his dad that passed away as a promise and again spoiler alert he gets the signature at the end of the movie it's a very nice movie a feel-good story but you don't think or you don't stop and think that after that he has to go back to the airport and he's probably going to be arrested after the credits they don't show that he has to actually fly back to Krokosia where the nation is has crumbled and is in a rebuilding mode because of the war. We have to think about that. After the purchase of our watches, you may purchase this Grail watch or you may be able to finally complete this collection. There is the day after that. These stories are stories that we connect to our watches, that we attach to these watches and we converse about them, we make videos about them, we, we talk about them with our friends. But after that, there's still life. 
that we need to go to. We still need to eat, we still need to work, we still need to go to back to our wives and our uh, sons and daughters. Hopefully, that's something. <laughs> the watch. Hopefully, the watch purchase didn't break that up, because these are really the ones that are the source of our happiness. Why not make a book, create art, make music? These are things, are, are ideas, concepts that really would bring us lasting happiness rather than objects. Because objects can disappear, can you know, deteriorate. And if you're hinging or you're hinging your desire in these objects, then you may be setting yourself up to actually uh, depressing desperation.